When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, August 28th. Many questions about the weather. Of course, Harvey is on everybody's mind. What about the impact on Alabama? We have other action in the tropics as well. So let's just dive right in. There's the water vapor satellite view across North America today. Got uh, troughing over the eastern states. And ultimately, that will be pulling Harvey north-northeast. But it's going to take some time to do that. A big ridge, a big heat ridge back in the western states. And boy, it doesn't feel like August. Look at that. Only 70s for most spots. Tuscaloosa managing 80, but it's only 78 for Birmingham and Gadsden, 77 for Anniston. And we could stay in the 70s many days for the rest of this week because of clouds and rain. Here's the visible satellite view. You can see mostly cloudy conditions across the state. Some sun mainly for parts of east and southeast Alabama. And really nothing on the radar. You see some echoes down around Demopolis, York, Livingston. A lot of that not reaching the ground. Nothing more than sprinkles. And we'll probably see some of that tomorrow. But the bigger rains come later in the week, beginning Wednesday on through Friday, and at least part of the upcoming Labor Day weekend. On the watch warning map, we've got flash flood watches and warnings for much of southeastern Texas, south Louisiana. The possibility of tornadoes in that region as well. We've got the standard slight risk of severe weather for much of the Louisiana coast in extreme southeast Texas. Uh, this is tomorrow, pretty much the same area, almost identical. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, we have a larger marginal risk now for much of Mississippi, Louisiana, and extreme west and southwest Alabama. In Alabama, that risk is from Sumter County down to Mobile and Baldwin counties. And again, that's as Harvey begins to lift out. We'll just have to watch for any convective cells within the rain mass that try and rotate and produce one of these little small spin-up tornadoes that can happen. All right, here's the big tropical picture. We have Harvey uh, just offshore now on the Texas coast. We have potential tropical cyclone 10 that's near Savannah and a wave in the far eastern Atlantic. And we're almost at the peak of the hurricane season. Typically, it peaks in mid-September, so it's uh, normal to have a lot of action this time of the year. This is the five-day outlook, and now the guys at NHC have that uh, far eastern Atlantic system with a high chance of developing. That will be Jose, if it gets a name. And we think Irma will be a 10. Let's start with Harvey. There's the via, uh, visible satellite view. And again, we believe the circulation center is now back in the water. Here's an analysis, and you can see a 1,000 millibar low that's sitting just east of Matagorda Bay. And with the infrastructure as it is, the impact's not going to change. If this thing gets back over the water, uh, you know, it might strengthen a bit, but uh, we don't expect a big issue with that. Uh, here's the official forecast track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they've got it looping in the water as a tropical storm through Wednesday comes back in a little east of Galveston, and then journeys northeast up toward Memphis Saturday morning. And again, we're going to be on the wet side. The wet side is the east side. Uh, here's the projected rain as a direct result from Harvey. And for uh, North Alabama, you can see it's got mostly one to two inches, that light green. It does have a little uh, heavier shade of green, a darker shade of green for parts of the northwest part of the state. That's two to four inches. And notice down in Mobile and Baldwin counties, it is in that yellow zone. That's four to six inches of rain. So the heaviest rain should be near the Gulf Coast. And obviously, it's going to be uh, wet for the rest of this week on the Gulf Coast. We'll talk about the Labor Day weekend here in just a moment and more about Harvey as well. Uh, let's take a look at uh, potential tropical cyclone 10 that's near Savannah. Pretty disorganized. Still, this uh, pretty good chance this becomes tropical storm Irma. Here's the surface analysis, and you can see a broad 1,010 millibar low that's in the, uh, in the Atlantic just east of Jacksonville and Savannah. Uh, this will be skirting the coast of the Carolinas and then moving on out to sea. No direct impact on Alabama. And our system out in the far eastern Atlantic. This is the short-term modeling, and you can see that it does begin to gain latitude 
Let's look at the European ensemble output. And you can see many of the members, in fact, almost all the members except really one, they recurve this before affecting the United States. And they keep it north of the Caribbean. Now understand this is very early in the game. This could easily change, but that's the way we're seeing it now based on model output. And this is the intensity guidance for 93L. And you can see that uh, more than likely this ramps up to a hurricane. Uh, this could be a pretty big hurricane, so let's hope that recurving scenario is the case. But again, it's very early in the game, just something to watch. It's way out there. All right, model fans, here we go. This is the uh, uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock, broad troughing over the east. Harvey is stuck down there just off the Texas coast, which should be Irma, is around the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And we're kind of in between both. Uh, tomorrow should be a lot like today. A lot of clouds, maybe some sprinkles, a little patchy light rain, but most places will be dry. But Wednesday, deeper moisture moves in. Rain becomes likely statewide. Harvey is near Houston. Irma is on the way out to the North Atlantic, so Wednesday looks pretty wet. We'll probably stay in the 70s. Thursday, the GFS has Harvey near Shreveport. Again, that looks like a wet day. And that's not to say it's going to rain all day, but it should rain at times. Friday, Harvey is over Arkansas. We're wet. And again, we're going to have to watch on uh, the Thursday and Friday for any little pockets of convection that might try and rotate. There's kind of a low-end tornado threat here. Not a major threat, but a low-end threat. Just something you got to watch. But it certainly looks like a wet setup for high school football games Friday night. And this is Saturday, and again, the, what's left of Harvey uh, near Harrison, Arkansas, and much of the southeastern states is wet. Uh, so it's uh, opening day for college football for a lot of teams. Uh, so just pick out your destination, see how you're doing there. The bottom line is, if it's in the southeastern states, it looks like it's going to be a wet situation. Be ready to take the rain gear. And this is Sunday. We're still in kind of a moist pool. Harvey kind of dissipates. We're still moist. Now, the European wants to pull Harvey on out, and we are noticeably drier. And again, we're going to side with the European. It's done a pretty good job with this. So in terms of the Labor Day weekend, we think it starts wet on Saturday. And then we trend dry Sunday and Monday. Not Maybe not completely dry, but we'll trend it drier in the forecast. This is Monday. We'll stick with the European. And again, that looks pretty quiet. So uh, hopefully we can squeeze in a couple of decent days on Sunday and Monday for the last long holiday weekend of summer. Here's the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 7th of September. Woo, look at the amplitude of that trough over the east. Wow. Surface front coming in with a chance of rain. And look at the temperature anomalies, way below average. How about that for a fall look? Check the numbers off the European. 90s just not around anytime soon. Uh, it's got 88 tomorrow. I don't think we see that. Uh, and certainly after that, highs in the 70s and low 80s. So it's just been a summer that's been pretty comfortable around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant Energy Efficient Systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.